Sherry Soria from Living Light Culinary Institute. And today I'm going to share with you an outstanding low glycemic gluten-free dessert that is a delicious, beautiful, very special treat fit for Valentine's Day, yet really simple and easy to prepare. It's called Cherry Rose Cashew Coconut Ice Cream with Chocolate Cardamom Crumble. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Roses? For Valentine's Day, yes, but for dessert? Yes, a hint of rose is lovely in desserts, and it's especially wonderful with cherries. And the combination of chocolate and cardamom accentuates it beautifully. Ice cream is easy to make. First you make a cream, then add your sweetener, and then your flavoring agents. I'll be using my Cuisinart ice cream machine. And if you don't have an ice cream maker, you can just freeze the ice cream mixture in your freezer overnight. So let's get started. First, we're going to add cashews. We're making our cream sauce now. And then we're going to add young Thai coconut. Now, we can use frozen coconut or fresh coconut, whatever you, know, you happen to have on hand. And then we're going to add about 12 ounces of water to that. And we have to blend this up so it's absolutely silky smooth. Okay, now it's beautifully smooth and we're going to add our sweeteners. First, I'm going to add some beautiful Divine Organics Thai Coconut Sugar. And this is a paste and I really love this. It's a low glycemic sweetener and uh, it's about 35 on the glycemic index. And I'm going to increase the sweetness even more by adding about an eighth of a teaspoon of stevia. Stevia is extremely sweet, so you have to be careful that you don't use too much. It's zero on the glycemic index, which is great, but you can taste it if you use too much. I'm also adding just a pinch of salt for balance, and that's beautiful royal Himalayan crystal salt. And I'm going to add my rose oil now. This is Young Living Rose Oil. It's my absolute favorite. And I put it in water just to make sure that I don't use too much, because sometimes a little bit more than you want will come out of that dropper. So that's all I'm going to add now, and I will incorporate it into my mixture. Um, once again, I'm going to start it and turn it up and get it all well incorporated. Okay, now that's beautifully incorporated. The only thing is, is that now that we've worked this so much, it's rather on the warm side. Not hot, but warm. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about three hours before we put it into our ice cream maker. Now that our mixture is chilled, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. And this coconut oil has been warmed so that it's liquid. And I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of lecithin powder. This is a, a non-GMO lecithin powder, of course. Uh, it is made from soy, so you can leave it out if you have a soy intolerance, but it does make it creamier. All right, and now we want to mix that up well. Now the mixture is well incorporated and we're going to put it into our ice cream maker. So all we have to do now is just pour it into the ice cream maker and we're going to let the ice cream maker do its magic. Now notice that I haven't added the cherries yet. I'll be adding the cherries after the ice cream maker has done about 20 minutes of its 25 minute routine. And uh, I don't want to leave them in there for too long because I don't want the ice cream to turn too pink. It will be a little bit pink, a little bit white, and have some cherries in there as well for contrast. The crumble topping is very simple to make. We're just going to put some chopped walnuts into a bowl. We're going to add a little bit of cacao powder, and you could use carob powder if you prefer. Just a pinch of salt. and a little bit of cardamom. You don't want to use too much because it's pretty powerful. And then we're going to toss it all together. And walnuts have a little bit of oil in them naturally, so it's going to stick without any problem. Then we'll add our Thai coconut sugar. And this is a liquid, kind of a paste, really. And all we have to do here is toss it together. I'm going to use a couple of forks to do this. Our ice cream machine has been running for about 20 minutes, so let's take a look and see how it's doing. 
Yes, that's beautiful. That's just the texture that we want. It's almost frozen, but not quite. So now we're going to add our cherries. Now, I took a few of them out while we were waiting for the ice cream maker to do its magic, and I sliced them. Those will be used for our garnish. And now I'm going to start adding the cherries little by little. That looks beautiful. So now we're going to plate it up. And uh, I'll just lift this out a little bit. Mm, this looks wonderful. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is going to be a yummy Valentine's Day, that's for sure. Yum. And I'll put, of course, a little bit of crumble on it. And some of my cherries, just to make sure that those cherries are seen. Mm, beautiful. My sweetheart is going to love this. Actually, I think this is enough for two. This promises to be a yummy Valentine's Day. Thanks for joining me. I'm Sherry Soria, helping you make healthy living delicious.